Hey guys, Gilles here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, during one of our previous live streams, I created a zoom through mouth transition and I quite liked it. So I enhanced it a bit and this is the result. Let me show you how to create this awesome transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. First off, we need two shots. Make sure that your subject opens up its mouth very wide without too much movement of the head. Once you've shot that, we're going to fire up Adobe Premiere Pro and drop our shots into the timeline. Now, we're already gonna start off with duplicating the shot by holding Alt while dragging. Then we're going to the point where the subject's mouth opens up and we're going to make a super precise mask. Now we can do this with the pen tool from the opacity property in the effects controls panel. Now make the mask a really precise and inside the mouth. So don't mask away the teeth. Now don't forget to invert the mask, otherwise only the inside of your mouth will be visible. And once that's done, use the play icon to track the mask forward. Next, we're going to nest this layer by right clicking on it and selecting nest. Then select nest and from the effects panel, apply the transform effect to it. Then we head back to the effects controls panel and we can already disable the composition shutter angle checkbox and set a custom one of 360. This way we get a whole lot of motion blur. Then we're going to the beginning of the clip and set a keyframe for the position and scale properties. Then head a bit further in time and adjust the scale property to 300% and adjust the position so that the mouth is in the center of the screen. Now, why don't we go beyond 300? Well, Premiere has a lot of problems when you go over 300% scaling with the transform effect. So to scale it even more, we're also going to place a beginning keyframe for the scale property of the clip itself. And we're going to do the same at the ending. Now we can scale it up until we don't see the mouth anymore. And if you want to adjust the position, then make sure to use the last keyframe of the position property in the transform effect. Next, we're going to apply the Gaussian blur effect to this clip. Since the mouth is coming closer to the camera, it should turn blurry. So let's animate the blurriness from zero to whatever you want. And don't forget to turn on the repeat edge pixels checkbox. Now this looks quite good already, but we've forgotten an important step to make it look more realistic. And that is the easing of the keyframes. So go ahead, right click on those keyframes and ease the first ones out and the last ones in. Then open up the scaling dropdowns and let the beginning keyframe go slower. We can do this by pulling the lever to the right side. Now the speed from the animation remains quite the same without any noticeable time or speed ramps. And this makes it way more realistic looking. Now you can also animate the opacity going from 100% to zero at the end. Now don't forget to take your second clip of course and place it below this nested layer for the transition. And that's it. Now of course you can use this effect in reverse as well where you start with an open mount and make it smaller. Just be creative with it and make your own awesome transition from this. Now you can always send in your result to our live stream submission form. Link in the description down below. And that way, I can give you feedback during one of our upcoming live streams. And if you want some super awesome transitions, presets and assets, then have a look at our amazing high quality video packs on our website. Not interested in that? No worries. We also have classes about color grading, video editing in Premiere Pro, After Effects and so much more. Just click on the first link in the description below. And don't forget to give this video a like as well. Now I'll see you guys next week for a new live stream and a new tutorial. And as always, stay creative.